Pocket Boy. Hey everybody, Pocket Boy here. Today we are finally getting to play Cave Story. I am so excited to play this game. I love this game to death. Let's just start a new one. From somewhere, a transmission. Sue? You there? It's me, Kazuma. I managed to get away somehow, but I haven't I've gotten lost. I found a shelter, but there's nothing here. If you can hear me, please answer. Please? Ah, I. This was part of the reason why I made a YouTube channel was just to play this game. Yeah, let's just save. Um, get healed up. Now I I've beaten the game before. It's been years since I beat it. I've picked I picked it up a few times. Uh, just in the past year, just I picked it up a couple up a couple times to try and get started with it, but I just I didn't manage to get very far. Because I just kind of fell through. But hopefully, with this playthrough, since I'm dedicated to keeping you guys updated with actual videos and everything, um, I'll, I'll be able to finish it. Well, I mean, of course, that's my goal. So this is the, um, this was made in 2004 by by Studio Pixel, the same guy that made Ikichan and oh, you don't have my gun yet, Ikichan and Gucked. And this, in my opinion, is one of the best 2D side scrollers I've ever played. You'll see why in just a second. Oh, yeah. Searching for user Sue. One user Sue found. Sue, please respond. They're looking for you. Are you asleep? Your brother is so lonely. So basically, I'm I'm kind of your tour guide for this game. I mean, I I already know all the ins and outs of the plot, as well as how to get. Um, there are multiple endings, so I I know pretty much how to get a near perfect ending. Uh, not to say that I will, because I I haven't played this in a while. But uh, so many things in this game aren't a surprise to me, if anything. So hopefully you guys get a kick out of this, and you'll want to play it yourselves. Just like the other games I've played by Studio Pixel, this game is completely free to download. This game has been made on in so many different ways. Like uh, they have a 3DS version, they had a re-release on Steam with some added features. I'm playing the free version because a I'm cheap, <laughs> and I I will get the Steam version at some point, but uh, just not at this moment. But another reason is I just like the feel, the look, and the sounds of the original. Uh, just the way the way that it looks right now is perfectly fine for me. I love it. This game has a wonderful soundtrack. Um, it's got a great plot, great characters, and it's just when I heard that this game was made by one person, it blew my mind. I am extremely envious of somebody that, with so much talent. Sue, answer me. I'm so hungry. There's nothing to eat, and I've been reduced to feeding on cockroaches. Ah, that was a joke. Ah, if I have to, though, I really will. Mimiga Village. Hand over the key. No, I won't. Are you trying to protect Sue? She's a stranger. She's not one of us. Sue's a good person. I'd never betray her. Well, she sounds like an old lady for me. Toroko. When the doctor comes, you know he'll take someone away again. If if we don't turn Sue over, it might be you he takes instead. But, but, the key, Toroko. Best entrance ever. What's up, King? What? You're not an enemy? I thought for sure it was them. I'm King. I'm the number one in this village. Not that means a whole lot, with only six of us left. Well, seven counting Sue. She's not she's not one of us, though. She's an outsider who showed up recently. So the first couple levels through this game, I'll, I'm going to be speed speeding through, um, just because I, I basically know how to do it. But once it gets past, I think it's the sand level that I just kept getting stopped on that I just wasn't playing anymore on, uh, then, then it'll be trial and error after that, really. I remember there's this there's this one 
side well not, it's not really side quest it's a quest you have to get you have to do before you can really progress through the story and that one will take a little trial and error ah but I just love this game because so you get different weapons throughout and each one is very unique give me the key no you can stick to the weapon that you enjoy the most just about um, weapons are pretty situational as well Grr, Toroko you're not getting away that easily and there's also this amazing level up system for the weapons it's so much fun and you guys will see that in a few in a little bit for now though let's see oh yeah I need to go back up so I'm just this intruder in this village in this cave underground and there's something happening Toroko's trying to protect somebody but King doesn't like that somebody that she's protecting oh there she is oh gosh save me save me huh you're you're not the doctor or with the doctor. Oh, I'm sorry. You have me worried. The doctor is such a mean guy, popping up in our village and taking us away. Sometimes even killing us. Like my brother. He killed my brother. Oh, that pendant. You found it for me. Sue gave that to me. Well, I shouldn't have it anymore. King gets his ears all in tangle when he, he sees Sue and I get and oh, when he sees Sue and I getting along. You can have it. I love the character designs in this. Um, there's like official art. There you are. You can't hide. No, no. I've got the nose of a bloodhound. Indeed you do. And the soundtrack. Just, I love everything about this game. The nose, and I dare say the brain as well, of a bloodhound, huh? Misery. I found her first. You guys were with the doctor, aren't you? So you're Sue, eh? The doctor has called for you. Come along now. What? I'm not Sue. They don't care. Balrog. I leave the rest to you. Balrog is definitely one of the more adoring characters in the game. Tons of people love Balrog, and I think I think he's great. He's like a big lunchbox is what he looks like to me. Not again, I always have to clean up. And here I found her first. So what's your deal? You gonna fight with fight me with that thing? Yes. I knew it. Ah uh, The thing about this weapon very at the very beginning, oh gosh. Get out, get out, get out. It has extremely short range. And so with this guy, he charges at you. And it's always so hard. Because he'll, he'll just glomp on you. There we go. Just you wait! That was a line from uh, the original Worms. Which I played growing up. Yes! Give me upgrades. So those triangle things are upgrades. And then, uh... So you, you gain them, and then you can level up your weapon once that yellow meter up at the top left uh, is complete. And then when you take damage, some of the yellow meter is depleted. And each each weapon goes up to a certain level. So it's way fun to just stay at a certain level and destroy everything. Yes, I'd like to save. Oh, I should probably heal then save. Okay. See, I need to go tell King that Toroko just got kidnapped. There you are. The key to Arthur's house. I thought there was at least one other one made. Blast you, Toroko, acting like you didn't know. Well, maybe Jack knows where to find it. Oh, yeah, I need to talk to Jack first, and he's the guy over her. What? Toroko's been kidnapped? Oh, no. I've got to tell King right away. Just the same as with uh, Pixel's other games, I love how each character is uniquely designed, uniquely named, and there's really no other character like them in the whole game. Toroko, I can't believe it. Toroko's elder brother, Arthur, was a, fa a fabulous warrior, but he was killed off by one of the Doctor's goons, and now I, I couldn't protect her. There are two keys to Arthur's house. Toroko has one of them. The other is hidden in the Mimigo graveyard. Onward! Um, so you'll notice, like, I'm gonna enter the graveyard here. 
there are these mushroom people that are really easy to kill. They don't take much. Th this is the only place where they appear in the game. And it's, it's kind of weird, or I think it's weird that that's the case, but it just kind of works. This guy you can only hear from behind. And he slashes me with a knife. Yes! See, okay, now my weapon leveled up, so now I'm firing these two bullets, and they have longer range. And it does more damage. So getting an upgrade is well worth your while to keep. There's writing on the tombstone. Here sleeps the noble Arthur, true hero to the Mimigas. One of the first levels in this game actually has my favorite uh, just music of all time. Like, if, if I was to rate any video game music as far as how catchy it is, Grass Town for sure. And you guys will see Grass Town in just a second. It's so much fun. Oh, I, I believe I mentioned this in the Ikichan series. Uh, Ikichan and Iron Head are in this game. Uh, since Ikichan was made in 2000, Pixel thought it would be fun to have to give them a little cameo in this game. So this is Arthur's house. This was where Toroko was keeping Sue, but she had the key, but now she's been kidnapped. And it doesn't even look like Sue is here. Words light up the screen. If I really have to though, I really will. Oh yeah, from Sue's brother. Do you want to permit teleportion to the Egg Corridor? Okay, okay, yeah. Egg Corridor first, then after that will be, uh, Grass Town. Egg Corridor still has some great music, too. The whole game has great music. Elephant! Get dead. The level 3 gun, though, is the best. It's probably the one that's going to carry you through the whole game when you get to play it. Another fun part of this game is there are multiple endings. I won't divulge how you access each one. I'll let you guys figure that out yourselves. I certainly did when I first played. When my friend Levi had me play this game for the first time, I, I got one of the shorter endings, which was kind of disappointing. <laughs> All he said was, well, that's it. That's, that's your playthrough of the game. There you go. And I was like, oh man, I want to play again, just so I can get the longer ending. So now my gun's at full capacity, and I am destroying. There you are, you monster. New character. I'm not afraid of you. Okay. Yeah, what's that? You want to bring it? Go ahead and try. Even my brother's never beaten me. Oh, you win! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! That's, that's probably what my favorite part of this whole game. Another reason I like this game is it's not very dialogue heavy. Like, there are certainly NPCs you can talk to and everything, but the a lot of storytelling is done through the environment. I think that's really cool. Save point. <laughs> okay, so this guy... I still don't get who this guy is. He's an enigma. His name is Cthulhu. First of all, he looks nothing like Cthulhu. A soldier from the surface. Didn't expect to see you here. Where are the others? What's that? Your memory's gone. <laughs> He's just a creeper. Like he—he he doesn't provide anything as far as like help. He definitely fills in some of the clues for the story. Like just now, he was telling—he was saying how I'm a soldier from the surface. It's like, ooh, what's that? So. Look forward to what exactly that means, because this game has such a good story on top of a good soundtrack, good gameplay, and good visuals. It's got a fantastic story. So, so far we got this guy who's the doctor. Not the doctor, like Doctor Who, but, you know. Um, terrorizing these Mimigas that are here on the ground. Got Sue, who is not welcome amongst the Mimigas, except for that, except for Toroko was a friend to her. And I'm just kind of thrown into this world, people asking me to do stuff for them. 
I mentioned in Ikachan that I wasn't very good at platformers like Super Mario Brother or Super Mario World, which one of my friends actually suggested I play one of uh, a hacked ROM of Super Mario World for my channel, which I, I will do, but I'll regret doing it. Anyway, uh, I'm not I'm just not good at platformers, but for some reason this game this game is one of the ones that I feel more confident at. Give me something like Super Mario or Mega Man, and I'm not very good at all. But Cave Story, just fine. Not br not trying to brag, just you know. Oop. Next save point, sweet. Oh yeah, the observation room. Okay. Yes, I'd like to save. You find a note. With the shield up, I can't get to number zero's room. I think one of the one of these terminals ought to be able to lower the shield. So I have to activate all these terminals to see how I can unlock the shield. Okay, we got a red terminal there and a red terminal here. Sky Dragon Egg number one. Air conditions or air eggs condition abnormal. Advise in investigation. So I have to go to egg one and egg six. And I gotta go up there to get what's in that chest. Which is a very vital item to the game. Oh yeah, missiles! Okay, I shouldn't say it's a vital item to the game. I mean, you can certainly beat the game without getting most of the weapons. But missiles are a great weapon in this game. And I haven't lost any health, so I might as well just get one. Oh, they respawned. Okay. Alright, so there are these numbers next to these eggs. I have to find number one and number six. Oh, get dead. These bugs remind me of a. Uh, some of the first Spyro games, which I will be playing on this channel eventually once I get the right uh, screen capturing software. Oh my gosh, get up there. Because I grew up on the original Spyros, those were, those were my first console games was uh, Spyro the Dragon, and then I went ahead and got uh, Spyro 2, Rifto's Rage, and Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, as I was growing up too, as they were released. I still have the original copies I grew, copies I grew up with in a game folder. So I'm really excited to play those again. And go, 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 go. That white thing down there will kill you instantly, so you can't touch it at all. ID card necessary to lower shield. Oh, I need an ID card first. Okay. Um, I don't want to risk it, so I'll have to go back here. Come back. There it is. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So, what I should be doing, shucks, is uh, switch, switching between weapons and leveling them up. That way, I can just get everything to max level so that when I can use my weapon, or when I use each individual weapon, they'll be at max power and they'll do tons of damage. The missile launcher is great, it's really powerful, but you have limited ammo. Oh no! I don't want to risk it. And get dead. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, shoot. Another strategy is to uh, kill it with one weapon and then gather the experience with the other weapon. Come on. So I'm playing with a gamepad right now, which I recommend for anybody that's playing this to play with. Um, usually the controls are really simple. It's just using the arrow keys to move around. I think X is jump and Z is shoot. And then uh, A and S are to change between weapons. But honestly, doing it on a, with a controller that's just been mapped out is so much easier. That's about the only way I can play this game very well at all. 
that's the only way I can play this game well, as I get hit by everything. Nope, stop, stop jumping. Ah, I'm empty. Great. Oh, I passed egg number six, what am I doing? Come on. I got my D card. Let's see, I believe what that another one of these eggs, I think the last one, the last egg, has uh some more health for me to get inside of it, so I'll I'll go back once I'm through with this level. And polar star. Yeah. Get to it. Yep, level 2 missiles. They're very good. Oh, I need those missiles up there. Oh gosh. I hate when these bug swarms come in. Oh gosh, I didn't realize. I've probably been playing this episode forever. <laughs> um, I will finish... Uh, I will finish a certain part coming up, and then I will end the episode. Because gosh, I, just, I got carried away with this game. I didn't even realize what, how long I've been playing. Okay, so there's the shield, so I need to activate the shield- I need to lower the shield with that. Using the keycard on the computer in here. Go, 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 go. Inserted the ID card. Shield lowered. Sweet. Oh, I- I don't want to risk that. Okay. Ah, dang it. Can't jump. And go, 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 go. Hey, buddy. Alright, bring it, Tubby. Grr. No one may touch Master's precious eggs. Yeah, so before those missiles only did 10, now they do 15. Oh, I'm empty, okay. Shucks, darn it. Nope, don't, don't do the thing. Normally she sprays bubbles, but I guess I blocked most of them with my gunfire. I say she, I don't even know what gender it is. Defeated Igor. Okay, it's probably a guy. Poor little Mimi guy. Whoa, hey, I'm not dead yet. You're gonna eat it this time. Huh? I got creamed by that monster. Did you save me? Uh, yeah. I don't need your help. I could handle it by myself, somehow. Girl, I hate this stinking island. I hate every living th thing on it. Island, you say, huh? Oh, look, it's. I think it's number zero. This egg could be our ticket off this island. I thought this was Cave Story. Excuse me. Egg condition normal, that's what I like to hear. Hmm? A password? Looks like you need a password to hatch this egg. Well, crud. If only my brother were here, he'd set things straight. Alright, looks like I'm done here for now. Oh, another note is that, uh, this game was originally made in Japan. Are you from around here? Doesn't look like it, does it? The words on your cap there, that's not a language they have on this island. Did you get lost? That's okay. I'll let you come with me. We can get off this dump together. In return, you're gonna help me. So, this, this game was originally made in Japan. So, 
what I'm playing is a translated copy of the original game. But I think the, tr the translation is just perfect and spot on. It's it's great. I want to save, yes. I want to heal, and I should probably save. Okay, thank you so much for joining me uh, with Cave Story. I hope you enjoy this upcoming series. It's such a fun game, it's a blast, and I hope you guys have the desire to play it once I'm done with it, because there are multiple endings, multiple ways you can beat the game, and there's also a secret level at the very end that I will not be playing myself. Uh, it's just so darn difficult, and I really don't have the platforming skill to do it, but there's so many great things about this game, and I hope you guys can enjoy watching me play it, as well as playing it for yourselves. So, this is Pocket Boy signing out. Later!